nature. The only place that can escape from all the noise of the bustling city. Undisturbed, untouched, and unseen. Every time I come here, I discover new paths which I have not walked before. Stretching into the wilderness, where many but few take a second glance at the surrounding and at times stunning environment. We utilize this to create new structures, sculptures, and ideas. Sources are rare in this land, but in some dense and wooded areas, they are available for any who desire to gain strength, stamina, and life energy. It clears my mind and makes me go into a relaxing state of consciousness. For me, this is safe haven from the problems and situations that plague my life, and a wisdom to turn my back on Excuse me. and overcome my Hey, life. you! What do you think you're doing? Who are you? I am the water spirit of the source. And what was that for? You drank from my source just now, which is my property. Well, this is a public place. Everybody can drink water from this source. I don't care who drinks my water. You human beings are still drinking my water, and I hate it! Well, if you hate humans so much, why don't you just shut off your source? I can't just shut off my source. I've watched this over place for 10,000 years now. All natural life around it will disappear. The trees, the wildlife, the nature of the water itself will go away. Just wish that you human beings wouldn't ruin it with your filth and decay. It's devastating enough for me because I don't want to remove the life energy of this area, but throwing garbage around my fellow spirit's realms and watching it decompose into the ground makes me want to think I'm a part of the problem. I just feel like I'm not doing enough to stop this from happening. Pollution or not, this place isn't really that bad, to be honest. I mean, look at the lake that you have. All this clean water flows out into that lake. And you're the one responsible for it. Think about that. I think a lot of people appreciate what you're doing here. And I don't see any trash around here either. I think you just need to protect your own area. I mean, all of this is yours, right? Well, I guess it could be more gentle towards you, species. It may not be fair to judge anyone by their actions. Unless they are consequential. I'm just here drinking water. I'm not here to throw trash around. Um, well, I'm, um, yeah, I might just have overacted a little bit there. Hey, um, I I'm sorry about, you know, that. It's okay. You know, I, I kind of have a, a monthly uh, video to go film, so um, if, if you can take care of yourself, then I'll be on my way. Yeah, sure. No problem. Okay, see you. Hello there, and welcome to Journey of a Small Filmmaker Part 14. Now, um, this is a bit unconventional for me. You see, I was supposed to film this down by a harbor bridge which we have here in Silkeborg today, but uh, because of the weather that is right here, and also because that the bridge is under uh, renovations, I can't actually uh, film down there. It was a really nice view, uh, to be honest, but I don't think I wanted to make the image look too bad. So instead, you're going to get an image that you have never really seen before, and that is how I get to my destinations here. I'm not currently driving, of course, but I am in a parking lot somewhere in uh, the city. I have uh, decided to do this uh, monthly video here instead. I think this is going to work out just fine. Besides, I mostly also do these things outside, so doing something inside is um, kind of a blessing, to be honest. Anyways, today we're going to talk about what I have been doing in November. And November, as I mentioned in the uh, last monthly video, was going to be a very, very busy month. And indeed, it has been. 
We have been out in different places around the region of Mid and Western Jutland and we have filmed three uh, kindergartens which are a part of this uh, huge project called Kulturspiene. It's a program where we are partnering up with the uh, Midwestern Song School which you may have heard about what I mentioned way back in part 8 of my uh, series here when we were making the liberation program and we have basically been out filming them during, for example, a dance routine. One was about making dragons out of uh, cardboard and newspapers and uh, small foam pads. And the third one was about making music. All of these uh, things that we've been filming, we will divide up to free programs, basically, which we are expecting to air on the uh, television channel TV Midwest sometime in January or February. This was a really difficult task because we were only uh, two people to do all these things and we were basically just having um, to move everything from place to place. So for example, we would be starting the day with uh, going to the uh, kindergarten itself and filming another location where we would interview the teachers of the uh, courses that they would give the children. And then we would move on again to a different location to interview the parents to give some of their reactions on what it has uh, done to their children or if it has been better or worse really. That's what this entire program really is about, to inspire kids to learn a lot more and that's what um, these kind of people do. So, I will, so I'm very excited to watch it when it comes out sometime in um, the beginning of next year. Also, we have been working with the Team Theatre, and the Team Theatre is a uh, theatre company that is uh, located in the centre of Herning, and they had assembled some actors which were going to play Pixies for a live event that was going to happen in the uh, local shopping mall, where basically, according to the stuff I've been told by my tutor, the story goes that there was a man, a very old man, who is chasing these pixies who have been living in this shopping mall since it was built way back in the day. And what they want to do with this is that they want to put a tiny sewer cam of some sort, which is actually a webcam that we have used to do this, but they want to use this small camera to put down a pipe and find these pixies so they can apologize to them for chasing them so much throughout all these years. This is basically a thing that we have achieved by using a Lot of cardboard boxes and the team theater has built these enormous and gorgeous boxes which resemble some kind of miniature home where these pixies actually live and so uh, we have basically tried to get this camera down into into some pipes and we have been using some foil pipes as well that can be folded together and we use it for every direction there is and then finally the camera will reach them and the pixies uh, are incredibly scared but they are also very angry because the humans above are disturbing them and then they will of course receive this gift and be incredibly happy. This is all a part of a live event that they're hosting so it will all just be displayed on a screen. We basically filmed most of these scenes with the pixies on green screen which we did at um, the team theater's own location and uh, the rest of it we have taken with this tiny camera um, which we uh, have put down into the house to get the images that we needed. Next, I of course want to talk about my light, which I finally have some good news about maybe. I have made some Christmas films for my light. We might just uh, be able to see them very soon because Christmas is coming up and uh, I've been working the entire month on finishing these projects so they can be out by December. And it's very exciting that it may be now that I finally can be able to show you these stop-motion films I've been working on for so long. Uh, it's just not really in the right order though, but so be it, you know, I'll be totally ready for this. Other than that, there isn't really a lot more to say uh, this month. We are going to do a big cleanup, I know, in December, and also we are going to prepare for the upcoming year 2021. And we at Elsewhere, me and my tutor, are actually going to do an episode of this Elsewhere story series which he has created where I will come in and talk about a lot of um, how I got to Elsewhere and uh, what the plans of the future are for what we're going to do in 2021. So uh, I want you to stay tuned for that and um, I'm hoping that you all enjoyed uh, watching this video of course and of course also go over to uh, uh, my tutor's channel so you can watch his videos. And um, for me, there's that's really it. So I hope I will see you in December and um, yeah, have a great day, whatever you're doing.